guys, me here. Welcome back to Dragon Quest. So, we are in the Mango Grove on our way to Coastal Valor with the intention of going on to Pang Lai. So, Pang Lai was actually a place that we could not get to the last time we were here. Um, not, well, you know what I mean, before the world went to pot and everything. We couldn't get there because some of the Haliodorian guards forbade it. So, we have actually not been to Pang Lai yet. But, that's all, right? Anything else? Nope, we're all done. Okay. So, we are going to go on to Coast of Allure. And then we'll see what happens from there. Oh, that's how they fix the bridge. <laughs> I mean, really? one of the targets around this area. I don't know where the other ones are. But if all they give me is seeds, I mean, it's good, but at the same time, it's like I haven't used a single one yet anyway. So... Yeah. No horses permitted beyond this point. So we're gonna go up to Mount Pang Lai. Oh, we're actually really close. Like, super close. I'm tempted to actually go to Port of Valor first and see if we can go in there. Triumph was never in doubt. Not really. Okay. So let's go down here. Our wave weed. Have one of these. I don't think we've bought them before. to like The 
victory is ours. Maybe I should have um waited a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm still. Via the collapsed valley up ahead, but things are pretty messed up over the west there. It must be because it's so close to where the world tree fell. And I've been hearing about a crowd of young men roaming the land in outlandish costumes, making all sorts of unholy commissions. Well, be careful whatever you do. This is the way to the metals, right? The Champ Sauvage. Will they even be allowed to go there? never in doubt. Uh, pretty sure it was. Pretty sure it was. God damn. That was, that was brutal. That was super brutal. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, that was, that was painful. Come on. Are you telling me 
on the island. I went the hard way. I can't just step through there. No, ho ho. I can write it now. Victory is ours. Okay. And now I can go out here and get this. Oh. It's so lovely. Sunny Citrine. Well. It's still good. It's still good. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's a... Uh... Well, it looks okay. Bonjour, traveler, and welcome to l'Académie de notre maître de médaille. It's almost like nothing's happened for them. Okay. I am Madame Labouche. I have been wait watching you since you first set foot on Academy grounds. I have held my tongue until now, but I can hold it no more. How dare you traipse around this honorable école comme un vagabond. These girls will one day be the shining stars of a dry and hot society. They should not be mixing with riffraff. And you, mon petit filou, are the riffiest, raffiest ruffian I have ever had the dis de plaisir to witness wandering these hallowed grounds. But there is hope for you yet. If you wish to prove that you are indeed un gentil homme worthy of this academy, you must dress to impress. Me, that is. I'm back when you're looking a little more chic and shop. Smart and stylish, and I will see if you measure up to my exacting standards. Do we have an accord? Okay. Un bon response. That's the spirit for you. Now, there are several ways to boost your style. First and foremost, you must gain experience and take your statistics vital to another level. But that alone will not suffice. Un gentilhomme must ensure that his entire ensemble exudes ele elegance. Their arm, their accessoire, every single thing that you equip affects how stylish you appear. Pick out the equipment that shows you off to your best advantage. Bon chance for you, good luck, and back me when you have made you a true prince charmant of yourself. We're in the middle of the apocalypse, and that's what you care about? Clearly, nothing has touched the Academy. Oh, more quests. Lots of quests. Ah. Eight. Okay. Stamp them. Oh, yeah. Felicitations! 
You've completely filled the page of your Madame de Medailles. This is not a miniature achievement in the slightest. Complete. You may have maxed out this page, but your career as a metal detective extraordinaire is not yet at an end. None, it is time to turn over a new leaf. Ooh. Blombolero. Felicitations. Keeps the mini medals coming, and when your total reaches 55, I will reward you with a suit of spiked armor. Now, isn't that a maximally magnificent prize? Cool, cool. I had no idea what that stuff was just was. I'm assuming Glombolero. Okay, so magical might would go up, but defense would go way down. An incredible coat that can cast that can absorb MP from any spell cast on the wearer. Cool. What was the other thing I earned? This little river is absolutely teeming with nothing. Ever since Yggdrasil fell, it's been too dangerous to go a second. So I'm stuck here. It's still fun and all, but there's one big problem. Something's really starting to sink. I hope whoever made the world tree fall out of the sky hasn't poisoned this river too. It's me, Melodorine de la Morgue, and I smell absolutely rotten. I found out a perfume! This is a awful! Now everyone will find out how stinky I really am. I'd rather die. You have to help me, please. Could you go and see my daddy and ask him for another bottle, pretty please? Oh, thank you, thank you. My daddy's name is Fet Tid, and he makes the prettiest smelling perfume in the whole wide world. He usually sends me a new bottle every month, but for the last two months, nothing has come. My family recently moved to the cryptic crypt just to the west of Hoto. I hear a lot of scary monsters have been seen around there lately. I hope they don't have anything to do with my perfume going missing. I'd be ever so grateful if you'd go there and make sure my daddy is okay. Oh, and bring me back some perfume, too. Goodness gracious. Let's grab the other one. I remember one girl in particular who caused me more headaches than all of the others put together. She was a naughty jeune fille who always was getting herself into mischief. But no matter how much trouble she caused, you could not help but smile at her antics. She was a brush of fresh air that messes up your air. But then one cold and frosty winter morning, just a few days before her graduation, she ran away. She sent a letter a few days later saying she would not be coming back. Et voila, she never did. As I was 30 years ago, I'm an old woman now. Soon I will leave this place too. But before I go, I want her to have a diploma, the certificate I would have given her on her graduation day. Only when that is done, can I retire sans regret. Can you help me, mon cher? Can you find this girl and give her the, the diploma I have been holding on to all these years? Merci beaucoup. If you could find her, I would be so very grateful. The only clue I have to her location is the letter she sent after she ran away. The postmark shows that it is sent from the Crystal Kingdom of Sniffleheim. Perhaps if you were to go there, the locals might be able to give you some clues to her whereabouts. My name is Lilian. Please, you must go to Sniffleheim, find her, and deliver the diploma. Okay. It's really taking me 30 years to find somebody to do this for you. Hello, traveler. It's me, Conchella. How do you fancy testing your puzzle-solving skills in a right royal riddling spectacular? Okay. Yeah, you're a first-rate recreation traveler. Good sport. Now let the games begin. Tell me this. What sort of single-handed sword sounds like you should pill for it? You think you know the answer? Equip it and come and show me. What? Single-handed sword. That sounds like you should... Pull for it. Bandit blade? Snatch me, pinch me, steal me. Oh dear, I think I presented the pastime. I've given the game away. If you worked out what the answer is, equip it and come and show me. Okay, so it's not that one. I may not have it. Steal? 
So you think that's the answer, do you? Let's see. That's it. You've exercised the answer, Traveler. You worked it out. The single-handed sword that sounds like you should look for it is a steel broadsword. Get it? Steel broadsword? Steel broadsword? <laughs> not bad, not bad, but the game's not over yet. I've got another perplexing problem for you. This one's like a short-tempered cat ball. It's particularly prickly. All right, here we go. What do we this? What sort of weapon sounds like it's made to frustrate something that's flagging? If you think you know the answer, clip it and come and show me. I'm sorry, what? What sort of weapon sounds like it's made to frustrate something that's flagging? Have you worked out the answer yet? This is a tricky one, even for a cranium container, a brain box like you. I'll give you a clue. Whatever this weapon is, it frustrates things that are flagging. It diffuses damn squibs. It declines defeats. It foils fizz. Oops, I think I've freed the feline. line. I've let the cat in the bag. If you think you know the answer, then equip it and come and show it to me. Um, the pottery sword? What sort of weapon sounds like it's made to frustrate something that's flagging? Have you worked out the answer yet? Whatever this weapon is, it frustrates things that are flagging. It diffuses damp squibs. It declines defeats. It foils. Perhaps this is one I do not have. So that's all of them. Well, I came and did what I sought to do. Let's see. Let's zoom to the Coast of Valor. down, there's a big landslide around these parts in the path to Porto Valor got blocked off. And that ain't all that's changed. I urge you can get through the valley over on the west side of the Champs Sauvage now. It's like this ain't the world I remember no more. Anyway, long story short, if you're going to Porto Valor, you'll have to re-head along the coast to the east there, then up west over the hills. Got it? Oh. So I can. I just have to go. Octopods! Oh my god! Seriously weird. Hey! What an That worked! God damn. All is 
well that ends well. Yes, indeed. So basically, what once was a place that you couldn't get to, you can, and what once was a place you could get to, you can't. Does that sound about right? Hello, Port of Allure. Impact of Idris of falling opened up a valley to the northwest and made it passable again. But just because you can go somewhere, it doesn't mean you should. See, you've been hearing about a horde of mysterious young chicos roaming the area. They're at the Lord of Shadows for sure. Buenos dias, senor. Not many people make the journey to visit us here in Puerto Valor anymore. It is simply too dangerous. But you must not be afraid. We knights shall protect the town and its people. We will continue to fight until no monster is left standing. Look at me. I'm in full head to toe armor. Do I look like I'm scared? It's just here on holiday, but with everything that's happened, it's the least I can do to try and help defend the place. I mean, I've heard Heliodor has been destroyed anyway, so I won't have anything to go back to. I might as well try and make myself useful here. Alright, yes, Heliodor has not been destroyed. Thank you. Anything here? Yeah, no. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. Oh. I don't think I've seen your face before. I suppose you're another refugee, are you? No. No? Oh, don't tell me you come here to see Don Rodrigo. Oh dear, then it says you haven't heard. He was badly injured rescuing a local boy from the clutches of a monster. He's been bedridden for days. You are a liar. Mentiroso. It's true, you have to believe me. I, I saw them, I promise. Over the west of here, a whole gang of horrible, gaudy demons all parading in a line. If you're playing music and dancing, I think they're probably people who sold their souls to the Lord of Shadow or something. This man is spreading rumors about a horde of demons parading around the other side of the valley to the northwest. I everybody's already scared of the Lord of Shadow. There's no need to make people even more worried. I got attacked by monsters out west of here, but I was rescued. Rescued by a parade of mysterious and rather fabulous young men. If anyone has any hope of saving this world, it's them. But no one in this town believes me. They're trying to say that I dreamt up the whole thing. I can't believe the casino is still open. Mustn't let the end of the world get in the way of our gambling. What else have we got to live for? Even in the darkest of times! Let's go play some Pokemon. They ate your common or garden ones. These are special sign quest slots. How about that, huh? Do you want to know what's really special about them? It's up to you when to stop the reels. Here, don't you think that's like a metaphor gambling in that? You decide when to stop, right? Yeah, that's good, that. Ten tokens. Let's do 50. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 10, and then an ace. Mm. Let's keep the ace. And go ahead and deal. What? Oh, perfect. Well, we'll keep these then.
Beautiful. Joker. Hmm. Aw. Shit. Crap. I lost it all. what you get for gambling. Go too far. Two hundred tokens. Yes. Alrighty. doing great with anything, am I? Four! Woo! Okay. Yes, I am. Ten. Oh, oh my god. Just great, but works. Ah, oh, man, I can't even believe that. Like, what are the chances of that? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. That's that's so not fair. At least I get to keep the treasure box. Um, let's keep those. Deal. Nope. Full house. I mean, sure. This is 
super exciting, I know. Keep the chest. That's at least something. Yes. Um. Oh my god. Horse. Oh, that's not fair. Let's go again. Keep, keep. for me. Go for it, guys. Shit. Unlucky. Oh, 
at least finally got something. This game is no longer being kind to me. table and you really do look wise oh, okay Okay. No. Okay. Three, five, seven, nine, eight, queen. Seven. Two pair. Snap! Okay. Oh, okay. I'm playing with fire guys here. almost always these two middle ones. Oh my god. Let's do it. Holy shit, I can't believe that actually worked. No. Saints Ashes. Yay? That's 
increase the bidding. Queen, King, Ace. Nope. I'm quickly losing all the stuff I had. Uh, let's keep these two. something to work with here. That'll do. tokens is not going to break me. back my stake for that one round. Useless. 
You just keep going and going and going, but it hardly matters. No. I know when to quit. The minimum bet is 100 tokens. That's much different. Wow. Okay. We'll just bet 100. These the ten. to make up what I've lost, but okay. Nope. So it's just that. It's the slots and poker. Starting to change the rules on me here. Hmm. What is this shit? Man? Hmm. Ace. Keep the ace. Yeah. Nope. I'm done. know how much things cost. I haven't looked at it for a long time. 2500. White Shield. Yggdrasil Leaf. Infernails. Staff Sentencing. Arife Stays Vest. Spangled Dress. Platinum Sword. Lightning Lands. Platinum Power sword. The Moth Mask Prophecies. Okay. Takes a look inside. The Dread Daggers, Papillon Masks. episode and in the next one we'll actually go on to Pang Lai <laughs> now that uh, I've tried my hand at um, gambling it had a little success so thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in the next one